doing their job. They are doing their job. They're speaking out for us. People who support Oregon's missing Republican senators rallied outside the Capitol building this weekend, while inside the Senate was unable to do business. The senators are trying to run out the clock on the legislative session so the Democratic majority cannot pass the controversial cap and trade environmental bill. The bill aims to reduce emissions to 80 percent below 1990 levels by the year 2050, but opponents say it would hurt businesses and raise prices for consumers. Now, after the weekend demonstration, things were much quieter today at the Capitol. But the 11 Republican senators are still nowhere to be found. And there are some new concerns now tonight about security moving forward. Our Emily Burris is live in Salem with more from lawmakers. Emily? Good afternoon, Jennifer, Dan. Yeah, I am one of the only people right now standing on the Capitol steps. I can tell you it is really the most calm we have seen this area in several days, but things are still very, very tense inside Senate chambers. Lawmakers tried to reconvene this morning again at 10 a.m., but of course, those 11 Republican senators uh, were nowhere to be found. Uh, they were two people short of a quorum and unable to vote on House Bill 2020. They've recessed. Now now three times today, caucusing in between. Right now, supporters of this bill are planning to rally here tomorrow, but say they've been in touch with Oregon State Police about more possible threats. Organizers say it's concerning, especially after threats actually closed the Capitol on Saturday. So I will recess uh, the Senate until 12 noon. We will, of course, be keeping you updated on if and when any of those plans change. OSP tells me they are continuing to monitor any and all sources of information. I also asked them for an update on the communications, the contact they may have had with Republican senators. Uh, they would not comment on that. Now, I did just finish speaking with uh, leaders, both Democratic and Republican Senate leaders. Uh, they tell me that progress is being made behind the scenes. We'll hear more from lawmakers coming up on the news at five and six.